So in this video, we are going to learn how to add MailChimp subscriber from Webhook responses. Now suppose guys, you are using some kind of application using which you are getting the details of a new users. And then that application supports Webhooks. So using Webhooks, that application can send data to other applications. Now you want that whenever you get a new response from that Webhook URL from that application of yours, you want to add that same user, the same response into a MailChimp as a new subscriber. So let me tell you how you can automate this process of getting the response of Webhook URL and using those details, adding subscribers into MailChimp. So in this automation, guys, the trigger will be getting a new Webhook response from the application of your choice. And action will be adding the same response as a new subscriber in MailChimp, like using the same details in the response which we have received and creating a subscriber in our MailChimp account. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see guys, this is my public Enix dashboard. And to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of public Enix in the description box below. And after coming to this dashboard, you just have to click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. So here guys, I want to name my workflow as MailChimp subscriber on webhook response. And then just click on create. So guys, if you want, you can give any name to your automation workflow of your choice. So here guys, you will see after creating this workflow, we have two different windows over here. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window guys. So the idea here is what we want using public connect in this trigger window, we are going to get a webhook URL. And you can actually add that particular webhook URL anywhere on the internet in any application which supports webhooks, which send webhook responses. You can add that webhook URL in that particular application and get the webhook response. And as we get that webhook response from that application inside public connect, using public connect, we are going to send those same responses to MailChimp and we are going to create a subscriber over there. For example, let's take an example of a form building application like Pabli Form Builder. So Pabli Form Builders do support webhook responses. It do have an option to send the webhook response of for each and every form submission we receive in it. Now what we want, for example, we want that whenever we receive a new form submission in Pabli Form Builder, we want to add that same user, that same form submission details as a subscriber in MailChimp. And not just any form building application, as I told you, you can add this webhook URL in any other application of your choice. So for this, to get the webhook URL in our automation workflow inside Public Connect, here in trigger window, select webhook. After selecting webhook by Pabli, here you will see the webhook URL is given by Public Connect over here. Now you just have to copy this webhook URL from here and paste it into the any application of your choice. We are taking an example of Pabli Form Builder and here in my Pabli Form Builder account, I have created a form which is named as contact with us. We are going to use this form just for the reference. So here guys, this is the form which I have created and I'm going to add the webhook URL in this particular form. And after adding the webhook URL, whenever we are going to receive the response in this form submission, automatically we will be getting that same data in the webhook response inside Pabli Connect as well. So here guys, let's add the webhook URL. I'll just go to the integration section of this form and then let's set up this webhook URL. Just paste it and click on save. So it is done. Just now we have added a webhook URL in this Pabli Form Builder application. So here guys, after adding this webhook URL, here you can see that inside Pabli Connect, it is showing us waiting for a webhook response, which means Pabli Connect is waiting to get some data, some response using this webhook URL. So let's do this. We have created this form named as contact form, and we are going to make a test form submission over here. Just go to the share section, and then we are going to copy the link of this form, and then just paste it in a new tab. So here you can see that the same form is open in front of us. Now let's enter the details of a new user. For example, demo user, this is the name. This is the email address. And this is the mobile number. Click on submit. So just now we made a new form submission in this form. 
and because we have added the webhook url in this particular form in our public form builder account we will see the details of this exact same form submission the webhook response will be received inside pabli connect and yes guys here you can see that inside pabli connect we have received this webhook response and in this response you can see the details of the same form submission so we have the same name same email and the same mobile number this means guys in this way you can get this webhook url using the webhook by pabli trigger application you can get the webhook url inside your pabli connect account and you can add this webhook url in any application of your choice and whenever that application is going to send some data to that webhook url you can send those same details that same data inside your pabli connect workflow so here you can capture the webhook response inside pabli connect but after this what we want to do using this response we want to add this user as a subscriber in our mailchimp account like we want that whenever we receive a new webhook response using those details a new subscriber should be added in mailchimp and to do this we will get back to our pabli connect workflow we will scroll down and come to our action window and here in choose app search for mailchimp just select it after selecting mailchimp in action event from the drop down select the action event as add member with custom fields now because we want to add a new member inside mailchimp that's why we are selecting this particular action event but if you want to perform any other action after getting this webhook response in any other application you can select that application and that action event as well according to your requirement so right now from the drop down in action event select add new member with custom field click on connect and select add new connection now from this webhook response to add a subscriber a user in mailchimp we have to connect our mailchimp account with pabli connect and to make this connection it is asking us for the api token and the data center id over here of our mailchimp account so to get the data center id you just have to go to and log in to your mailchimp account and here in the url section you can see us6 before dot admin here you can see us6 this is the data center id of my mailchimp account just copy it from here go to pabli connect and paste it over here after pasting it to get the api token go back to your mailchimp account and here at the left bottom corner you can see this profile option just click on it and go to profile section after coming to this profiles page go to extras and from the drop down click on api keys after coming to this api key page here you can see that you can see a list of all the api keys which you have created in your mailchimp account just click on this create new key button give this key a name for example i'll name it as pabli webhook and then click on generate key button after clicking on generate key here you can see that a api key has been generated by mailchimp in our mailchimp account just copy this api key from here go to pabli connect and paste it over here and then just click on save and as we click on save we will see our mailchimp account will get connected with pabli connect now after connecting our mailchimp account the first thing it asks us is to choose the audience list like it is most likely possible that you might have created multiple audience list in your mailchimp account so to check it just go to the audience section of your mailchimp account and here you can see all the list right now in my mailchimp account i have created only one audience list named as pabli connect and i want to create a new subscriber in this list so i'm going to select it over here after selecting your audience list it is asking us for the email address of the user to whom we want to add as a new subscriber so guys we have received the email address from webhook response so whatever details you have received from webhook response one by one from this response you have to map those details over here in the respective fields like here you can see that we have received this email address from this webhook response of pabli form builder or form submission so we are going to map this email address over here in this field and guys the process of mapping is very simple simply click on this field and in the drop down below here you can see a list of all the responses which we have received using this webhook url and out of all of this responses select this response of email and map it in the field of email then it is asking us for the tag that the subscriber which we are creating in mailchimp do we want to add some kind of tag to that subscriber or not so this is not a mandatory field so if you want you can ignore this field or enter the tag over here as well for example i would like to add a tag named as pabli form builder so this is the tag which i want to give to all the subscribers which i am creating using this automation 
If you want, you can basically add commas and add multiple tags for the subscriber or the contact which you are creating in MailChimp as well. Then it is asking us select the status of the subscriber. And in the drop down, you can see different status over here. So I want to create this subscriber, this member in MailChimp as subscribe. So I'm selecting subscribed over here. Then we have the field of interest. So if you want, you can enter the interest over here as well. Then it is asking us for the force name. So we have received the first name of the user in the webhook response to over here. We have the first name and here we also have the last name. So one by one, we are going to map these details as well in their respective field. And as we all know, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and from the drop down from webhook responses, select the response of first name and map it. Then after that, here it is asking us for the gender. So we haven't received the response of gender, so you can ignore it. And let's map the last name over here. Click here and map the last name and at last map the mobile number and here it is. So in this way, you can basically add this webhook URL in any application in any platform of your choice and get the details of the user. And from these details, by mapping these details over here in their respective fields, you can add that same person as a subscriber or as a member in your MailChimp account. Now, every time we are going to receive some data from that application in the, using this webhook URL, with the same details, a new member will be added in MailChimp. So after mapping all of these details, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the details which we have mapped over here, Basically, the data which we have received from this webhook response, using these details, a new subscriber is added in our MailChimp account. So let's check it. We will go to MailChimp and we'll go to all contact section. And yes, guys, here you can see that the same user, demo user, whose details we have added on the form submission, like the same user whose details we have received using this webhook response, the same user has been added as a new subscriber in MailChimp. We have the same name, same email address, same phone number and other details as well. This means the automation workflow which we have created using this webhook URL from MailChimp inside Pavli Connect is working perfectly fine. And using this automation guys, whenever we are going to receive any webhook response, automatically using those details, a new member, a new subscriber will be added in our MailChimp account. So guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once over here. Once again, we will go to the same form which we have created using Pavli Form Builder. And we are going to enter the details of a new form over here. For example, test one user. This is the name. This is the email address. And this is the mobile number. Click on submit. So just now we have submitted the form and in this form, we have added the webhook URL, which we have received from Pavli Connect. So here just now we have received a new webhook response inside Pavli Connect. And as we receive this response, we will see automatically the same user will be added as a new contact in MailChimp. So once again, we'll check the contacts page of MailChimp. And yes, here you can see that instantly automatically the user has been added. Test one user, the same name which we have given while submitting the form, the same email and the phone number. This means the automation workflow which we have created using the webhook URL and MailChimp inside Pavli Connect is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion, and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.